Craig Pusley showed up outside a California school in a U.S. Marine camouflage uniform to help children feel safe, he explained. I don't need a firearm to, to sit here and defend this place. Not at all. I think my presence alone says enough. Pusley wore sergeant stripes and told people he'd served tours in Iraq and Afghanistan. But in reality, he'd never made it much past basic training. Pusley is just one of scores of men who've embellished, if not lied, outright about their military records. We get about 200 per year. In the last six months, I know I've gotten 105. In May, the president of the Korean War Veterans Association resigned after admitting he regularly wore five service ribbons that he never earned. Then there's Michael McDowell, who called himself a retired army colonel and the son of a brigadier general, yet neither had even been in the military. The Veterans Affairs Department has admitted that at one point it was paying out disability benefits to almost 900 purported prisoners of war from the Vietnam conflict. The problem? That was 300 more than the number who actually returned from that war. I didn't find any listing for your name in the database. The network of retired servicemen who investigate reports of what they call stolen valor find that financial gain is not the only motivation. There's a lot of others who, who just have some sort of mental impediment of some variety or other or have some sort of social issue where they really need the acclimation. A big percentage of them just, I think, make up the story so that they can belong to something that's more important than themselves. Under the law adopted by Congress, a false claim alone may not be prosecuted. But anyone benefiting from certain unearned military awards or decorations could be fined or imprisoned. An effort to uphold the honor that's genuinely deserved by real combat heroes. And any time one of these stolen valor guy goes in there and claims that, it kind of takes away from everyone who actually earned it. Tom Ackerman, Al Jazeera, Washington.